Great job of making a play and coming home. And watch the base runner, Jake Myers. He's on the inside and eventually veers back to that bag. All right, so we've got the Nationals versus Astros. Bottom of the ninth, tie game 4-4, one out. Astros are at the plate. We have a ground ball to the shortstop. He comes home, and the throw to first hits off the batter runner's head, which allows Abreu to score and end the game, and the Nationals lose. Davey Martinez not happy about this call, as you would assume. And the crazy part about this play is it's the exact same play that happened in the 2019 World Series with the same two teams in the same stadium. And that time, the call went against Martinez also, but that was when Trey Turner was running down the line. Okay, so let's look at the play again, and let's talk about the rule. All right, so here's the throw home. Now, let's pause it right here so we have a good view. So the batter runner has to run in the runner's lane, which is right here. It starts 45 feet from home plate. So the last half distance from home to first, if the runner runs to the left of the foul line or to the right of the runner's lane line, which no one ever really runs over here, it always happens inside this line. So if they run to the left of that line and the umpire feels that the runner interferes with the fielder taking the throw at first base, the batter runner is out. And as you can see, here's the throw. First baseman goes to catch the ball. And right there, first baseman's glove and the ball both hit off of the batter runner's helmet. Runner has not touched first base yet. And if we look at it again from right here, look at how far inside that line the runner is. So right here, he's entering. He's Well, he's just past that 45-foot line. And so look at how far inside he's running. And again, the reason for this rule is to give the catcher the ability, or if the pitcher's in here, the ability to throw to first. Right here, there's really no way to throw to first. There's no lane for the catcher. So here's another couple things to keep in mind. The home plate umpire right here is responsible for this call. Now, this play is a little bit unique because there's a play at home. So you can see the umpire right now is got to look and make sure the ball is caught. He needs to make sure that the foot of the catcher is still in contact with the plate during the catch. So he's still looking down. So he has no idea where the runner is running right now. So he sees that. Now he says out. And right here, this is basically the first time that he gets a view of the batter runner. And by the next step, he's... He is still to the left of the line, but he is he's pretty close to it. Now, the other thing is, his angle is also going to be a little different. So he's looking at it from this angle. Instead, let's just say there was nobody on base, and let's say there was like a bunt or something that was bunted out here. He could get this way more, and then he would have a look straight down the line. So from this angle, again, we actually, from this camera view, have a better angle than the umpire does from where he is because, again, he has to make this call. Then he has to get his eyes to the batter runner. So, again, the batter runner should have been out. Unfortunately, it goes against the Nationals, and they lose the game. But it's pretty easy to see that he is well to the left of that line, all the way to the base. And he does interfere with the throw right there. Now, I've made a lot of videos on this rule because it happens all the time, and it seems like something different is called every single time. And most runners run inside the baseline because, again, the base is in fair territory. So the base is to the left of the line. And especially for right-handed hitters because when they leave the box, they are way to the left of the line. So I've never really liked the rule. I understand the rule because it prevents this type of play from happening. But I still think, eventually... You just add another base over here, like they do in softball, and then you don't have to worry about it. The runners are going to be running every time in the lane. If the lane is right here, then put another base like that, and then we can just run right here, and it feels more natural, and we're out of the way of the catcher or the pitcher and the first baseman, and everybody's happy. And Martinez is totally fed up with this rule because after the game, he printed out a nice picture of the play for everyone to see. There it is, right there. Take a good look at it. Is that on the line? I don't think so. I'm over this play. Seriously.
They need to fix the rule. This is what the umpires see, that he's running down the line. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Fix it. We lost the game and he had nothing to say about it because he can't make the right call. Brutal. Brutal. So that's all we have. Let me know what you think about this call and this rule. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.